I'm Ron Kagan from the Detroit Zoological Society. One of the most important things that we consider on a daily basis is what is the animal welfare of the animals that live here. Animal welfare is the same as saying animal well-being. It's essentially asking the question, are animals happy? Are they feeling good? Are they in good physical condition? And obviously, if you keep animals in captivity, it is essential that you make sure they have excellent quality of life. Historically, zoos started out as menageries. They were really simply collections of animals. There wasn't a lot of consideration about whether the animals might be happy or thriving. It was important to zoos that the animals would breed, but not necessarily other uh, issues, and that they would live a long life. And so what you would see is zoos that had many, many, many different types of animals, but not necessarily in natural conditions, and really very little, if any, discussion about the welfare of each individual animal. If we keep animals in a zoo, it is essential that we deliver for them the conditions that will provide a great quality of life. One of the biggest challenges in a zoo is to understand whether an animal actually is thriving, whether it is happy, uh, and it's not easy to know that. With people, you can ask them, and they can tell you, I feel great. Uh, you can tell if they don't look well. You can do all sorts of uh, tests on them. With animals, it's very difficult because the moment we start doing invasive things, we actually cause stress. And our goal is to minimize stress. So a lot of very sophisticated procedures have been developed, both in terms of looking at the behavior of an animal and, in fact, looking at some of the physiological metrics that help determine whether an animal is living a good life, whether it's stress-free. It's really essential for zoos to apply the fundamental commitment to animal welfare into everything that we do, both operationally and also in terms of what we design as their homes. Uh, and so one of the things that we do is we make sure that we create environments that are physically as natural as they possibly can be. Over my shoulder is the chimpanzee area, which is a very natural environment for them where they can do what they normally would do in the wild. They can roam around, they can look for food, they can interact with each other, they can climb things. So it's really important that we not design things exclusively for people and visitors, but that we design them that are also, that also they're wonderful for the animals. So there are a number of habitats here that really were designed from the very beginning to be fabulous places for the animals, where we really believe they would be able to thrive. Places like the Arctic Ring of Life, the largest polar bear facility in the United States. And, and the way we did it is we built kind of an elevated hillside for them so that they can hear and see and smell 360 degrees. That keeps them mentally stimulated all the time. And we do all sorts of enrichment activities that are built into the environment so that they're constantly kept engaged in exploring their environment, using their environment, both the physical environment and the social environment. Same thing with the great apes, uh, the same thing in, in the new cotton family wolf wilderness. All of these areas have been developed to really be as natural as possible, and natural is not providing a lawn. Uh, a lawn is not nature for animals, so what's really important is to study the natural history of an individual animal or type of animal species and then design things which are relevant for those individual ones. One of the things that we did some years ago was we created the Center for Zoo Animal Welfare. We decided it was really time to focus on this to, to understand that animal care, which is what you provision for animals, is important but it's not the same as animal welfare. And in another segment, we'll talk all about what the Center for Zoo Animal Welfare does at the Detroit Zoological Society.